Good afternoon, traders. This is Christian Primehurst, Tribeca Trade Group, and today is Monday, the 27th of December, uh, and we are officially in the Santa Claus rally. Uh, what can you say about today's market? Very strong participation. Yes, the Santa Claus rally. Uh, I'm sure that you are aware of this now, but just in case, if you haven't heard it on Twitter a million times, the Santa Claus rally officially has started. That's the last week of December and the first two days of January. So we are now in that uh, in that area of the market, in that zone, and um, it's kind of living up so far. I don't, you know, I don't want to jinx anything. Uh, it's so far it's living up to the hype because today was a pretty strong participation day. Uh, the breath was strong, and we're going to get to the performance in um, in just one second. Here is the breath for the day. You could also see this whenever this is dark green uh, on the um, on the bottom left of your screen. That's our um, web breath market market breath indicator. Uh, put some volume to the advancing declining names, and you can see 27 advancing versus two declining, and the Dow 455 advancing, 1563 as well for the Nasdaq. Um, not as strong. That looks like the distribution wasn't as stronger there, uh, but definitely was a good day. Let me just talk. About, we're going to talk about uh, market performance. We're going to talk about some areas, the strong areas of the market, and I'll go over about probably about 15 to 20 uh, stock uh, charts very quickly. Uh, but I wanted to talk about as we're wrapping up the, um, the end of this year, uh, I just wanted to kind of talk about, um, you know, we're going to be going over some of the themes of this year and what to focus on. We're going to be having a member webinar on January 4th. So if you're not a member, make sure that you sign up, especially before the end of the year. We're going to be raising our prices, our monthly subscription prices. Uh, that will go up. Um, it's something that we do. Uh, basically, I think we've done it the last couple of years at the end of the year. So you can grandfather yourself in because I don't, you know, once you kind of lock in the rate, um, I'm not going to adjust your, your current rate if you decide to do that. But come the beginning of the year, um, we will have a, a higher um, monthly rate um, going going forward. And um, yeah, we've got a couple of cool things too that that we'll announce. Um, but yeah, I you know it's really for me. Um, you know, obviously we're we're still doing a lot of trading here because the market is giving us you know a lot of good opportunities with this breath. Right, we talk about the analogy all the time. Right, when you have strong breath, the wind is at your back. Right, versus what we saw for the good portion for you know the end of November beginning of December, the wind was in our face, right? There was a lot more declining, um, you know, names, right? It's just a more difficult environment. The, since last Tuesday, right? So we've had Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday off, and then today. So we've had four straight days of really strong market breath. So, uh, you know, it's been, it's been very nice. And, um, yeah, I would say, you know, with this Santa Claus rally, I put this on Twitter last night. I said, guys, you know, uh, FinTwit, Right, retail traders on Finswit uh, are getting really, really bullish. The end of the uh, the end of this year. So, you know, my my little reminder that I said last night, I said it in the room today too, is just make sure you're trading. You continue to trade disciplined. Right. Um, you never, in my opinion, want to just take one factor, whether it's seasonality or something else, and make all your decisions based off of that. Right. I always kind of keep in mind where the seasonality is, but it doesn't go too much into my thinking of, you know, whether or not I'm going to take a trade. If the setup looks good, I'm going to take it. If I see more and more setups and the, and the breath is stronger, I, I'm going to take a, a few more positions in, in that situation. Right. I'm going to trade to what the market, uh, you know, to what the market market gives me, right? And, and, you know, we want to keep these things in the back of our mind in terms of seasonality, all right? So let's, um, I, I wanted, so yeah, we're going to be going over on January 4th. We talked a little bit about that in the trading room today too. You know, some of the takeaways from uh, from 2021. I mean, it's been, you know, with the S&P up 27%, this has still been, a, you know, if you kind of look back at this year, this has been a year that you've had to be disciplined, right? You've had to basically go to where their strength is, not so much maybe where you wanted to trade in, right? And, you know, I think today was kind of just a good example of that. So when you look at the performance, right, SPY was up 1.4% today. But what was ARC, for example? Right, Arc was down 1.7 percent. Right, so it's not, um, you know, it's 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 been really for a lot of these months that we've seen in 2021. It's not so much the the stocks that you 
you know, really want to, to go higher or really want to perform, you've got to change to what the market is giving you, right? And to, and this year was also about trading discipline, right? We went through a, a few different, you know, difficult periods of this year, but you had to be open to trading other things than high, super high growth stocks or super high growth software, cyber names, right? You had to get your mindset out of some of the really underperformers of the market, the emerging markets, right? Um, we were talking about that last week too with the Chinese internet names, right? You, if The more that you've gotten away from some of these names too, you know, another name that was an underperformer this year was Amazon, only up 4% so far year to date. That has just not been where the momentum is right and it's a head scratcher right because you would think you know amazon companies executing very well you see amazon trucks all over the place but that has just not been where the performance is and it makes you you know there, so there's so many lessons i think to learn from this year um, again we're, we'll talk about that probably for you know more than an hour webinar on the fourth that'll be probably a long webinar that we do we're having a couple guests on as well to talk about their experiences and and what they did well and what and what they want to improve in you know it was nice we had this nice chat in the in the in the trading room at the end of the day talking about you know what you want to improve on you know what did you learn and what's your takeaway and you know because really right that's what um it's all about in my opinion right we don't all start at being great traders it really takes a lot of work to get there right and and a lot of learning and and changing your mindset over time too so you know th that's why it's so interesting and that's why it it, it, it for me it, it never gets dull because uh, it's it is such a challenge every year to do this and and to you know to come away with um, you know a good year and, and to try to outperform the market and to basically go with what the market is doing rather than you know what I've already said already with which is you know instead of doing what we want the market to do we have we have to change to what the market is actually doing so. Um, we'll be doing, uh, yeah, we'll be doing that webinar. We're also going to do a webinar in, uh, towards the end of January, which will be on like the evolution of a trade setup. You know, what is a good trade up, trade trade setup to me, and and then you know, what am I looking for when I put put the trade on, and then you know, how to manage it as it's as the trade is. Um, as the trade is ongoing too. So we'll be doing a lot of things like that. Um, we'll uh, also be be entering the u.s investment championship again uh this this year we'll talk about that as well in the january 4th uh sorry uh, yeah january 4th webinar so this will be uh upcoming i've already signed up for it so it'll be my second year so you can follow along with you know as well as watch how i'm trading it um as we go month by month and through uh, 2021. So this was how, how I lined up so far, you know, and, and, you know, I'll get it again. I'm going to talk more about this, uh, in the, in the upcoming webinar, but my goal for this year, it, I'm really not in this to win the contest. You know, you really have to take a lot of leverage and you really have to trade very aggressively to win these contests. I'm just basically, you know, looking to kind of, uh, excel, compete, and put up really good performance. Um, I'm not about like super leveraging my account, you know, to get, um, you know, plus four or 500 performance, you know, that's added risk. So um, like I said, uh, we'll talk more about that, but um, here's where you go, by the way, if you're not familiar on how, on how to be a member of Tribeca Trade Group, um, you can go right here to um, TribecaTradeGroup.com services. This link is pinned to my um to my twitter page as well um i would suggest the the elite membership because then you get access to to the trading room um we're actually a lot of members we, we've given special specials to members um so that they can lock in at, at a cheaper rate than than the annual here but you do have to be a member for that but yes um the rate will go up so again i, I don't spend that much time in these videos marketing um you know and talking about uh what we do i kind of let our actions speak for themselves but I give you the information that the price will change come come the beginning of the year. All right, so let's um. So I'm already about a little bit less than ten minutes into the video. Yes, today was was a very nice day, and I, I love it when the semiconductors outperform. There was really good, uh, there was really good participation when you look at the semiconductors. They are starting to break out. 
All right, so let's look at the whole group. You know, I traded I traded Nvidia today as a day trade that worked well. I'm also holding a couple of these. I'm holding uh, Marvell, um, ON Semiconductor, which was one of our watch list names, did very well. And there's a couple other names in here too that um, that did well. But if you look at the group, right, we start we always start with the ETF, right, and you can see that this is um, right on the cusp of uh, that is actually a new closing. Uh, new closing high. So we're starting to see that more and more after after four four days of strong breadth and performance. Right, we are now seeing that um, you know seeing more more sectors kind of break out to new highs. And by the way, that's one hell of a candle for the S and P. We're now above value. We mentioned on Thursday that we closed just uh, first close outside of the December value area, and we are now in price discovery. A great place to be. Right out of this mess. And making new highs. So again, nice pause in the action, right? Consolidation whipped everybody around for a little bit, right? Pr probably you know annoyed a lot of people, sh shook a lot of people out of trades, right? And then the Nasdaq um, also closed above value. Nasdaq 100 also closed above value. IWM was a little. I mean, still you can't really complain about today's performance in IWM, right at the 200-day moving average. So here comes the test, right? I still see this this. Um, this chart is sideways as hell. For it doesn't really um, fit in my trading, but I understand people are making some good money in the small caps. Uh, that's fine. I would rather look for individual names than try to tackle this chart too sideways for me. Too difficult. Too difficult. Right? I like the, the I like a little bit neater charts than this. All right. So that's the um, the overall uh, index performance but then you know besides the semiconductors right and and things like apple which closed um, i think closed very close to the highs big day for apple big day for microsoft also got out of value too that was another name in our weekend watch list right which is here right every every week uh traders get this week this weekend watch list right it's a starting point for the week we talk about on sunday and i don't update this I only update this once a week, but we talk about what sectors are showing relative strength, um, which ones are actually strengthening, which we had SMH on there, XLB, transports, uh, metals and mining, you know, and then we talk about which areas are, are either non-trending or, um, or weaker, right? So, um, you know, a couple other areas that I had mentioned were healthcare and the medical devices, right? That They logged in a nice day today too. Right, I put a swing trade on in this group. That's IHI. Um, names like TMO are very strong. Thermo Fisher. Um, I think. Let's see where this thing closed at. Wait for Thinkorswim to adjust here for just a second. I'll go back to while this is adjusting. All right, we'll talk about. Um, be, so besides, you know, the healthcare names really showing a lot of strength. What I liked today was was the energy names. Right, so here's uh, here's TMO right out to very close to new highs. Has been a strong stock over the last year. What a beautiful trend this thing has been in. Thermo Fisher. You talk about a name that has just continued to chug higher, right? But yeah, the the energy names. So one of the things that we noticed this morning was energy was um, the price of oil was moving up, and that was another takeaway from last week too. Was that we were starting to see a lot of strength in the commodity space, uh, copper, oil. And and if you and and a lot of the agriculture commodities too. All right, so two you know a couple of names in that space just blasting off to the upside. This is a name in the in the TTG trend portfolio. CF Industries, very very strong. NTR has played catch up, and has made a nice move. Alcoa, which we saw I think some more call activity today in, in Alcoa, is putting in a nice little consolidation. I would keep keep an eye on you know if you like going after relative strength, this Alcoa looks very good. Right, had another up day. Again, waiting. I don't know what the story is with Think or Swim, but you know, let's see if this puts in a nice little bull flag. But very, very nice. So again, I, it, I am much more happier with a market where you could trade an Alcoa, right, or you could trade an FCX, which is a name that we talked about last week, which is working pretty well, right. Gives you a lot of different choices and and diversification and and a little bit more diversified. You know, I don't per, I don't particularly personally like to be in you know all in software names or all in cyber names. I like to have some exposure in that group, but I don't want to be lumped up because that those are some of the most expensive stocks, right? So 
I think that was pretty interesting. I started to talk about the energy names. Um, I put on a CVX trade today. Um, it's a name that I've been looking at for a while. Very nice, up 2% for the day. Um, Devon Energy. I mean, what, what a shakeout that, that this thing had. Just about a week. This was just a week ago. Stock was at 36, up to 44. So again, you kind of have to, like, if you're looking at this trade now, in my opinion, you have to kind of forget about where this traded a week ago and concentrate on the road ahead. You know, have to do that in all your trading, by the way, right? You can't say, oh, geez, if I only would have bought this two weeks ago when it was cheaper. You got to think about where this stock is going to and think about this pattern, right? It's been side, forget about that it dipped down here, right? But it's been sideways for a while. So I, I think this is one of the best energy names um, in the space. It acted very well all year long. And it's, and the nice thing that you, this is way that, in my opinion, is a good way to get your mind around the, this, is that it's gone sideways, really, for the better part of two months, right? So it looks like it's ready to kind of get going again. We saw a nice call buyer in this FANG, right? I like this name, Diamondback Energy, closed on the, on the highs. I did not take a target in this one. Maybe I should have, because uh, it was super strong, up about 5%, but we saw some nice calls out in April, I think it was. Right. So I did. I haven't even talked about the cyber names, but they but they were fun to kind of um, watch. I had some ZS going into today. I took that off right at the beginning of the day. I was happy with that one. I didn't know what kind of a day it was going to be, so I decided to take that off at the beginning of the day. But yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here with Think or Swim. All of these charts are delayed. I just I wanted to go over just a few more names. I don't think I'm going to get them all in because. Um, because think or swim is so slow here, but uh, the ZS uh, stops right at the bottom of value, which is where I wanted to take a target. And now you can kind of watch a little bit. This is another one that I traded last week, right? That I'm interested in now. Um, let's see where it closed. This is New Relic, again a name, a cyber name that's probably not on a lot of people's, uh, you know, the the top of their watch list. But this thing closed. Wow, look at this. It looks like every symbol. Um, this thing closed right at the bottom of value. So now, you know, forget about this dip that you had. And, and you know, that was one trade, right? Now it's a new trade, right? And that would be if it breaks into value, which would be above 112, right? That's how you kind of have to think about things, in my opinion, is where do you think the stock is going to go forward at this point? All right, a couple other uh, symbols that I thought were really interesting was this ARCB. Somebody mentioned this in the pre-market session. Uh, we, every day we do a pre-market session uh, just after 9 o'clock. Uh, this was a great call that was made. Um, I did I did go along some new core at the end of the day. Not the best uh, candle for the day, but I just like the strength in this group right now. And I think that this maybe ha could be a, uh, the new... Not the new area to outperform, but may, may see some more participation. Here's how I traded today, right? Um, I had some uh, re residual position of Qs. I got out of that right on the open. Um, I mentioned ZS. I got out of NVIDIA, right? We talked about this one towards the end of last week. You know, just barely closed inside value on Thursday. Really nice follow through. Same thing for AMD, which I won't bring up because uh, the charts take so long to go through. I tried some of this... Um, this box name, which is breaking out, um, I, I may have been a little bit too early taking this name off uh, because you do have a breakout now at this point. But I just I've got enough positions on, and I want to keep I, I want to be very concise uh, with what I'm doing here. Um, Marvell, I mentioned that one, took a target in this one. Affirm, this was another name that we um, was one of our weekend watch list names. Let's see if this one turns. This is not high up on my list. You know, I mentioned that um, going over. Uh, going over all the names that we had in the weekend watch list, that this one is not the highest on the list. Um, you know, I think it can move off the lows. I think it can move a little bit further, but it is not showing relative strength. I like to stick to the names that are really, um, you know, moving quite nicely. All right, but I did uh, go into that name and I did take a target in this one, a quick target, 107.50. Mentioned Fang. Um, also, Unity Software is another name that. Um, I kind of had on the on the list from last week a name that I'm watching just to see if this thing can kind of turn the corner. And I like this. It's got nice, you know, defined risk. So I did put this on as a swing trade. But if this thing ducks back below 147, um, you, know, or, you know, I gave it a little bit more tolerance than that. I will be out of that one. But again, giving it a shot, all right?
right? And I mentioned Nucor, and I took a target in, in IHI. That's it. I'm going to keep the video under 20 minutes. But again, you know, I, I could be going over. There's a few other names that I like. JB Hunt had a nice day. Uh, and I can't read my my handwriting for that one. Um, Microsoft we went over, you know, and uh, definitely some other names that participated pretty well for the day. Guys, have a great night. Ah, oh, Ford, right? That's another one too that I'll be watching. Uh, that I've stayed long, stayed through the chop in this one. Uh, this one is also, um, looks like it has a chance to break higher here too. All right, guys, have a great night. See you tomorrow.